Hello and welcome everyone, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can create the delta symbol quickly and easily. What is the delta symbol? Well, I'm glad you asked. That is the delta symbol. So there are special characters in Excel and you can get access to them quickly and easily. These are great for dashboards, for reports that require metrics for up and down where you don't want to use the standard icon set that comes with Excel. You can conditionally format this up and there is a down symbol. There's even a sideways symbol. I'll show you what all that is, yeah? So, but I think the, the point I want to get across is how to get it quickly and easily. And just to sort of point it out, you need a keybat board with a number pad to get it fast, yeah? And then you need access to these keys. They're usually right next to the shift key, yeah? So once you've got access to those two things, it's just a matter of Alt 3 0, yeah? Alt 3 0, and then that will get you the symbol very quickly and very easily. That's the easiest method to get the delta symbol quickly and easily. So just press Alt here and then 3 0. As soon as you take your finger off the keypad, it's produced, yeah? That's the that's the shortcut key, yeah? Now, if you want to go the other way and get the, as I said, the delta symbol plus the down and the across, you go into the insert menu and you go to symbol. Now, you have to come in here and choose aerial. So you've got to pick aerial out of the list. Now, it's, you know, it's in the A's. It's only, if you go to the very top, it's only a couple of clicks down. More than a couple, <laughs> so it's not far down. And then yours will appear like this, yeah. So you'll be up here somewhere. It's about 80 to 90 percent of the way down when you, if you drag this guy down, and it's not very easy to find. So I've, I've done it so many times. I know I've gone too far. So you go back up, and when you start seeing this sort of stuff, you know you're kind of in the ballpark, and you can insert them one by one. So there's the up arrow, there's the down arrow. And there's the side arrow. I probably should have gone in order, but it's it's all good. Um, there's all sorts of other things you can insert. Um, uh, yeah, but uh, and look, you know, the, there's a whole heap of sort of metrics under wind, windings and uh, webdings and so on and so forth. But uh, there you go. I've I've inserted a few just using the shortcut. We're just using the, the symbol menu. And um, these are great for infographics. And as I said, like you can actually then isolate each of these guys like one by one. And you can have an up, down and sideways arrow. And it acts as a, a, a nice alternative, as I said, to the conditional formatting icon sets, yeah? So I use them because watch what happens when you color these guys. If this one, where's the, oh, I haven't put, I haven't copied the down one across. <laughs> so that's down, yeah? So if I was to choose the color, because it's just aerial text, so you can say, okay, that's down, and then you might want to say, okay, well, that one's up, and this one is maybe sideways, yeah? And then you can use that to refer, you can use formula to refer to those cells, and then have them coming back. You can even resize them. It's all very good in the hood. All right, good stuff, everyone. Hope you enjoyed and um, keep excelling. Take it easy.